Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. What does your internal dialogue sound like? Self-talk is the way you naturally communicate with yourself throughout the day. It can be positive or negative, and it can influence your self-esteem, self-worth, and confidence. When it comes to negative self-talk, there are some phrases that can be particularly damaging to your well-being. With that, here are six dangerous self-talk phrases you should stop using. Number one, I am worthless. What determines your worth? For many people, self-worth can be influenced by a number of factors. It can be easy to let other people, certain moments, or situations diminish your worth. However, the biggest thing to remember is that self-worth is and will always be internal. It blossoms from the way you speak to yourself and the way you view yourself, not how others view you. Number two, it's not worth trying. Have you ever stopped yourself from trying something new? Did you tell yourself that you'll probably fail before you even started? While you may be intending to save yourself from any potential embarrassment, you're inadvertently stunting your own growth. We tend to underestimate ourselves, but sometimes our potential just might surprise us if we give it the chance. Number three, I'm not enough. In this increasingly competitive world, it can be easy to undercut your own accomplishments. Criticism from others or slight setbacks can make us forget about the things we do well and make us feel like we aren't doing enough or that we simply aren't good enough. This phrase can be detrimental to your self-esteem and confidence. You are enough and so valuable as you are, no matter what setbacks you face each day. Number four, I'm too sensitive. Have you ever called yourself too sensitive when you were angry? Rather than letting yourself feel all of the emotions, it's a common thing to do, but sometimes it results in you diminishing your own feelings. If something bothers you, it bothers you, and it's totally okay. Even if other people don't think something should upset you, it doesn't make your feelings any less important or any less real. Number five, I don't deserve love. Have you ever thought you didn't deserve love? If so, you aren't alone. These thoughts are common and they're detrimental to your well-being because they cause issues with self-esteem and self-worth. According to Dr. Jarabek from Psychotests, various life experiences can negatively affect the way we view ourselves, love ourselves, and respect ourselves. Making a conscious effort to treat ourselves with love and respect will not only increase our personal happiness, but also serve as an example of how we want to be treated by those around us. And number six, I'm a failure. When something goes wrong, what do you tell yourself? Well, a common response would be to call yourself a failure. When nothing is going your way, this label may seem like the only appropriate thing to call yourself. However, many of us don't realize how damaging it can actually be to let ourselves believe that we're failures, even when we have failed. In these moments, rather than add to your own adversity, the best thing you can do for yourself is to become your biggest support system. Stepping on yourself will only discourage you even more, but being kind to yourself, even as you acknowledge a setback, can encourage you to rebuild and come back stronger. We hope this helped you learn about some self-talk phrases that could damage your well-being. Do you relate to any of these points? Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find insight in this too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.